Oh yeah. There's one on it. I'm gonna grab it right there. Oh yeah, yep, that's a triple tail. He just grabbed it. I think he did. I think, I think he's on there. Oh yeah, I'm gonna let him eat it. Got him! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Triple tail, baby. What is going on y'all? Captain Collier here and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Brandon and I fish all on the Alabama Gulf Coast for anything and everything that can bend a rod. And this morning, uh, we're going after speckled trout. That is the goal today. I'm uh, launching out a bottle of battery here. I posted a poll about a week ago um, <clears throat> asking y'all what would y'all like to see more of and it was kind of 50-50 between offshore fishing and inshore fishing. So we haven't had the best weather. It's been just blowing, you know, 90 to nothing every single day for the last 10 days. So it's been hard for me to get out. But uh, yeah, anyways, I've got a couple different rigs here. Got my voodoo shrimp, popping court, slip court. I'll talk about all that when we get to fishing. But uh, fixing to throw on a top water lure. We're gonna try right over here, right at this bank. Uh, they got a lot of barges here and stuff. They're dredging the channel. But uh, yeah, if y'all enjoy this video, y'all smash that like button for me and let's get to fishing. All right, guys. So the first spot was a bust. Had like 12 blowups, but no fish. So we're still using the bone white Rapala top water lure. So what we're gonna do, y'all, is we're gonna fish all along these oyster cages here. Uh, this is in Sandy Bay. They raise oysters around these cages, and uh, speckled trout, redfish love to hang around this type of stuff because the bait fish gather around it. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get on one here. So yeah, like I was saying, y'all see all the mullet and stuff jumping right out here good area for speckled trout to uh, feed on these mullet. So we're going to make our first cast and see if we can't get on one here. It's only like two and a half foot right here. Prime depth for top water. Oh yeah, see right there. As soon as that lure hit the water, oh, it just saw busted right there. There's definitely some fish. Look, already had a hit. There we go. There we go, y'all. Second cast. Second cast. We go ahead and hit the anchor on that trolling motor. Ah, he ain't no monster. He's a keeper, though. Oh yeah. There you go. Like a decent 15 incher. measuring stick I'm sorry 17 inch not bad not bad so there you go y'all first trout he's uh 17 inches and we are keeping fish today because I'm hungry and I want some fried speckled trout all right so we got to get it as close as we can to where that where that bait and stuff is at Ooh, it was a little too close let's see come on boom There he goes. There he goes. Right at the boat, y'all. He's a little bit smaller. Yeah. We're gonna throw him back. Throw him back. He's probably about 13 inches. Oh yeah, that looks like a good spot right there. There he goes. Something hitting another small one. Boom! Three misses. Four misses. <laughs> How did they miss it? Two treble hooks on that lure and they still miss it. Y'all, there's tons of bait in here. And this is the first, oh, this is the first side of these uh, oyster cages that I stopped at. I mean, it's a large area around here. I ain't even covered any ground yet. That looks like a good. Oh, as soon as it hit the water, man. That is a good trout. That's a good trout. Oh my gosh, this is a trout. Slammed it, y'all. 
I gotta get them away from them uh, cages. I don't know if I snagged them or what. I think I snagged them. Yeah, I snagged them. He felt huge at first. He's a keeper. Yep, yep. Look at that hook set, y'all. <laughs> one in the mouth and one in the fin there. I'm gonna need some pliers for that one, but not a bad trout. Not a bad trout at all. He was probably about 18 inches. is by far the best eating size you want. Right at 16 inches, I'm gonna throw him in the box. We only need three more. So, patrol motor decided to take a poop on me and uh, we're drifting away from the spot. So I'm gonna try it out here, one cast. All right, y'all. Well, I was running and I see something floating over there and it looks like there's a triple tail on it. I don't know what it is that's floating, but it sure looks like there's a, a black fish on it. We got a popping cork with a shrimp here. We're gonna get a little bit closer and see if I can cast over to it. Not sure what that is. Go ahead and make a cast to it. Looks like a bag of trash or something. <laughs> I think it is, just a bag of trash. A lot of times I'm triple tail They'll find anything to get around. Oh yeah, there's one on it. He's gonna grab it right there. Oh yeah, yep, that's a triple tail. He just grabbed it. I think he did. I think, I think he's on there. Oh yeah, I'm gonna let him eat it. Got him, oh yeah. Oh yeah, uh, yes. Triple tail, baby. Triple tail. He ain't no monster. That's the first one of the year for me, y'all. On a bag of trash. Woo, gotta get away. Get away from that. No. Heck yeah. He might be legal. But if he's not, I do have a tagging kit where I can tag him and release him. Can't believe that, y'all. A bag of trash held this blackfish. I sure hope he's legal, though, because uh, that is what I'm going to be having for dinner. If I can get him in the boat. He's got to be legal because he's got some weight to him. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I was just running, uh, going to my next spot, and I just seen something white floating. What do you know? I thought I could have swore I seen one sitting on it. I'm sure was. Get my net ready. Oh yeah, he's legal, y'all. Definitely, no doubt about it. Look at that, beautiful. Grab my net here. I've got a mess right here. Coming to the other side, that'd be a lot. Come on, buddy. Don't you spit my hook. Don't you spit it. Come here. No! <laughs> oh! Come on. 
in the net you go yes that's a good eight nine pounder right there y'all look at that Woo! on a bag of trash heck yes what I'm talking about not a bad deal right there let's get them up front and get a measurement on them all right I thought I seen one on there so zero at the tail there he is 23 inches we're just gonna go ahead and let him have the hook all right y'all here we go first trip tail of the year just running to, uh, from spot to spot, wasn't even trying to target them, and uh, it was up under a bag of trash. So that's that's gonna be dinner tonight, y'all. Right there. Thank you, bag of trash. All right, y'all. So we're back at the house. It's uh, the same evening. Got the grill fired up, getting ready, getting it up to temp right now. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this triple tail. Y'all know I like my bubble blade, so we're gonna clean this triple tail, season it up, get it ready to go on the grill. And that's what we'll be having for dinner tonight, or at least me anyways. If y'all follow the channel, y'all know as much as I fish, my wife doesn't eat fish. All right guys, so here's the fish. As you can see, I cut some slits in the meat here. That is where I'm gonna put the butter at. Middle. You don't need a whole lot because this fish is already kind of oily as it is. And then uh, just kind of wipe some on the meat. That way the season will stick a little easier to it. Can't go wrong with the butter. All right, so we're good with that. So we're gonna grab some of this Lowry seasoning salt here. I usually use lemon pepper, but I'm feeling a little, a little spice today. Grab that. Then we'll get some good old garlic salt. It looks like I'm putting a lot of seasoning on here, but you gotta think we're only putting it on one side because the skin is on the other side. So it's not as bad as it looks. I'm just gonna grab some lemon juice here. Sprinkle a little bit on there. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. And there we go, y'all. That is a fully prepared filet with the skin on. And we're fixing to throw it on the grill as soon as it gets to 400 degrees. All right, so we got the temp at around 380. That's close enough. Coal's nice and hot. We'll go ahead and just slide this fish on here. Yeah. Let it roll. We're going to wait about 30 minutes and check on it. All right, I think she's done. 45 minutes. Mm. Yup, she good. Go ahead and get this spatula. Oh, yeah, we got it, we got it. Money. All right, y'all, well, I think it turned out pretty good. It's nice and flaky there. Let's see what it tastes like. They're hot. That's my cat in the background. We got to put up. 10 out of 10. I'm gonna go ahead and get one more bite of this. Mm. Y'all, if y'all catch any triple tail this summer, y'all be sure to comment below how y'all cook it. Let me know. If y'all enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. We'll catch you back out on the water next time.